Giving a compliment to a woman can be an easy yet effective way to make her feel special, showing her just how wonderful you think she is. Unfortunately, too many guys don't know how to give good compliments. They'll either state the blatantly obvious or they'll overuse compliments to the point that they become empty and meaningless. The art of giving compliments is one that, if mastered, can make you appear both smooth and romantic to ladies. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through eight proper steps on how to compliment a woman. Keep watching. Welcome back. My name is Jessica. I'm a broadcaster who lives in Accra, Ghana, a biker girl as well, and a voice actor. Now, on my channel today, I'm going to be talking about how to give proper compliments. Yeah, how to compliment a woman properly. Now, a lot of men take compliments for granted, but you would be surprised just how far a really good compliment can get you with a woman that you are interested in. Um, take it as your secret weapon, you know, a good compliment at the right time will completely disarm a woman you're with. Now, she may not be enjoying a conversation. She may not be enjoying your attention or anything like that. But the moment you give her a compliment, oh boy, you're going to be scoring really high marks. I'll tell you why. Women like what they hear. And you know what they say that men typically like what they see. So with a woman, saying the right things at the right time is always really, really important. And of course, you need to be measured in your compliments as well. So without much ado, let's just jump right into these eight things that I believe can help you make better compliments and score higher points with your love interest. Number one, be specific, all right? Now, you wanna bet that if there's some things that are really, really obvious about the woman you're complimenting, there must have been a thousand or hundreds of other people who may have complimented her before you. And so I would just say, don't just pick a compliment out of your stockpile. Like, you know, you have a couple of compliments you say to every woman, like every woman has, oh, you have a nice body, nice, you know. No, shelve that. Make your compliment specific. Now, specific, now specific, specific, specific. Now, specificity is your friend because it tells her that you're not just willing to throw words at her, but you're actually paying attention to something about her personality, about her person, about her, about her just generally um, that, you know, other people may not have even noticed. So instead of saying like, you have beautiful eyes or I love your hair, you could say something like, I like the way you hold up your hair because it really exposes your beautiful face and gives me more of you. I feel like those compliments are a little more specific as opposed to a generic, oh, I like your hair, oh, I like your eyes. Like, why do you like those things when you put in an extra effort to be specific about something that has to do with this woman you're complimenting? It will get you a little further. Number two, and there are hints of what I said in number one, in the second pointer and it's to make the compliment unique to her so once again you're not just picking up a compliment from your compliment book but you're actually paying attention to her the person that she is and you are picking out that one thing that stands out about them for you it could be their personality it could be the way they hold conversations etc you know, you're picking out that one thing that stands out and you are complimenting this person on it. So for instance, if you met someone like me and I get compliments about my voice all the time, one of the compliments you could say is, hey, your voice is so good. You should be on radio or TV. And then I could say, but I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you know, make the compliments unique to the person that you're with. Because chances are she's had a lot of generic compliments from other guys already way before you came and so if you're able to pick out that unique thing that really stands out for her you're home free number three i would say compliment things that she controls because i think i personally think that if you compliment things that she does not control 
it's going to lead to self-doubt in the future. For instance, if you compliment her on her beauty, beauty is going to fade. What does that mean? In some 20, 10, 15, 30, maybe even 40 years from now, she's going to be looking at herself in the mirror and suddenly feel inadequate because she's aged overnight and she does not have that youthful beauty anymore. And so I believe that compliments carry more meaning when they are about things that people can control. So for instance, things that she can control include her education, her determination, her skills, you know, her accomplishments, her personality, her interactions with people and things like that. Those are the things you want to hammer on. Those are the things you want to compliment her on because those are things that she can control, right? However, in a similar fashion, things that she cannot control include her beauty, her eyes, her skin color, you know, things like that are out of her control. And I would recommend that you steer clear of them. There's nothing necessarily wrong with doing that, but certainly you see the sense in where I'm going with this, where I'm saying that if you compliment her on things that she has no control over, when these things are not as great as they should look because of say time and age, she, you're going to be putting a lot of doubt in her because those things will suddenly not be able to work for her. You get it. Number four, number four, don't make sexual compliments or don't give sexual compliments, especially to a woman that you're not with. All right. If she's your girlfriend or your wife, that's okay. But if this is some woman you are now sort of trying to get to know, or you just met, please, by all means, absolutely steer clear of compliments that touch on her sexuality. Um, not only may she be offended by it, I feel like it's a bit too direct for a first time encounter. And that's something you really need to consider and think about clearly. Plus she's probably going to think you're a creep. And she's going to think that you want something more other than her friendship, which may be true, but at the end of the day, you do not want that to be as obvious from the get go. So you need to be a little smarter in how you give compliments, steer clear from sexual compliments or sexual innuendos as these will put you or cast you in a completely different light. Number five, stay away from cheesy compliments. Okay. Um, and cheesy compliments are just those compliments that seem very textbook. If you know what I mean, compliments that you, you sort of see online in the top 50 compliments to give a woman list, right? I'm just saying steer clear of those because um, they come across as insincere and mm, chances are she's heard, read about them, seen them being used several times and will have absolutely no meaning. And if it does have a meaning to her on some kind of level, it will be watered down. So don't go up to her and say, Hey, beautiful. Your smile is as bright as sunshine. That's like, what class are you in? Yo, I mean, we left primary and elementary school years ago. Okay. Think through it. Honestly, honestly, steer clear of the cheesy comments because they simply do not help your game. Number six, watch out for demeaning language. So don't give compliments by putting other people down. Never say something like, uh, don't worry about Stella forgetting all the guys. I think you're way prettier than she is. There's no need to mention Stella. You get it. If you want to compliment me, compliment me. I'm not Stella. I'm Jessica. You understand? And if there's something nice about me, go ahead and just let it out without, you know, bringing or trying to dim someone else's shine. And besides blowing out someone's candle won't make yours shine brighter. And if there's anything you want to remember about this particular point, let it be that. All right. So don't, don't give compliments that put other people down. I mean, not to say that if you give her such compliments, she may not be flattered. She actually may be, but it'll also say a lot about your personality because you're trying to sort of put another person down to make her feel better. Just go ahead and compliment her if you want to. Number seven, make her feel significant. Mm -hmm. Make her feel significant. I mean, no one wants to feel like just another drop in the ocean, really. I mean, on a planet that's filled with billions of people. Now, listen, giving her a compliment that will 
make her feel significant, will actually warm her heart and make her feel like she means something to you. And it's not just an arbitrary comment you're passing or a fleeting comment you're making because you're trying to get into her good books. And finally, one that a lot of, especially African men do, is comment about women's weight. Trust me, if she's gained weight, chances are she knows it already. If she's lost weight, chances are she knows it already. If you ask me, that is a no-go area. Do not compliment her about her weight. See, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something that I found really interesting. So I have this colleague who actually had like the flattest belly I've ever seen. She was petite in stature and uh, had a really flat belly. And when she'd wear her jeans, like, you know, you would not see any flab anywhere. And I used to compliment her about that all the time and tell her how I would kill for her flat belly. But apparently it was a bone of contention for her. Um, she felt like she was too small. She felt like she was tiny. And so every single time I made comments like that, it actually made her uncomfortable. Um, same goes for people who are overweight. Like I said, chances are they already know they're overweight. They don't need you to say it. Now, if you're even trying to compliment them saying like, oh, you know, I realize that you're getting a little round around the hips. Like, I actually like that. I don't think you should because she may not be happy with the fact that she is putting on weight around her hips. You understand? And by pointing that out, it becomes a pain point for her. And you want to bet that by the end of the night, she won't be a fan of yours. Men, whatever you do, do not compliment her on her weight. Avoid weight compliments, even if you think it's a positive one because you do not know what her secret struggles are and you just might hit a chord. <sighs> so yeah, those are my pointers for today, how to compliment a woman and get better at it. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, turn on all notifications so you get a notification every single time I post. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Adios. Amigos.